Welcome to the National Association of Activity Professional website. This video is geared to help you navigate through the website to find all of those areas and content that you get as part of your membership and to navigate it with ease. So the first thing you wanna do when you get to the website is you wanna go here to the orange button and you wanna log in. Once you're logged in, that is gonna unlock all of the areas of the website that you're gonna to wanna to get to as part of the benefits of your membership. So the first thing I'm gonna go through is some of the key areas up top that we get a lot of questions on. So the first one is the members tab. This is right on the top menu bar and there's an area to log in or log out. There's also status and receipts. So this is something we get asked a lot of where to find these. If you click on the status and receipts, you will see your payment history with all the receipts there available for you to download, print, or save on your own computer. The other area that's very important here is your e-learning history dashboard. So when you click on this, it is going to open up for you all of the courses that you have taken on demand, along with all of the certificate links. So again, you can print them, download them, save them to your computer, but they're all listed here with your score, the time you took it, how long it took you to complete, and then that certification. So this membership tab is really important for all of those things that you need as far as your invoicing receipts, e-learning, your certificates. This is where you're going to find them. And right next door is our partner area. And this is an area where you can go and view all of the companies, associations, um, organizations that we work with. There's great resources throughout here and good for basic knowledge and, and seeing what kind of organizations are out there that can be of helpful and resourceful to you as the activity professional. In our resource tab, we have NAP week. This is our upcoming in January. This happens every year. And this is always where you will find the NAP week info is under the resources. You'll find a schedule of events, the theme, some things you can um, download, print, use within your community. Also, we have the movie and music licensing information. We have our bookstore, which contains a lot of great resources as well for purchase. We have our scholarship area where you can go and apply for different various scholarships. And of course, a job board. If you would like to post a job opening, this is where you would go to do that. The next tab here is conference. So NAP holds an annual conference every year. This is the spot you'll go to find all the information on that conference. As you can see, the 2025 is completely loaded and ready to go. You will see general information in green as far as the hotel, guest tickets, handouts, cancellation policies. You scroll down, there's some other information on awards, exhibitors, sponsorships, and then the conference agenda itself. And this is where you can see what the sessions are, who the speakers are, and kind of pre-plan for what you wanna attend while you're there. And you'll find all of that here on the conference page. To register for the conference, it's back up here in the green under the logistics. You would click on the registration and it's gonna redirect you here. The education tab is another one that's used a lot. So we have information on different certifications here for your knowledge. We have our live webinars. These are ones that are open to all and anyone can join. And the schedule will usually be per month. Sometimes it may be two months, but you can see all the upcoming webinars and where to register are gonna be listed here in the live education area, as well as what is upcoming. Webinar speaker application. This is if you are looking to present and you would like to provide a webinar for NAP. You would click this webinar speaker application and you would go and fill it out, submit it, and send it to NAP for approval and review. You can also get to our bookstore here. This is also the spot where our new NAP training site is. 
So if you click on the training site, it's going to take you to a different page. And it's going to talk a little bit about what this is. And this is basically our a la carte education. There are new courses being put into our learning management system through January and into the new year. So you're definitely going to want to be checking this often as new things are going to be available. Certification courses, specialty courses. This is if you want to take something a little bit more detailed than the on-demand. We also work with partners who provide good discounts and good services and have courses through their own websites. So you can take a look, see what's out there and where to learn more and where to register. So this is the NAP training site and you definitely should check this regularly, like I said, for that new content that's gonna be put in there. Under the about, you can, there's a lot of things in here to read who we are, what we do, standards of practice, um, how to become a member, our international contacts and reports, who is on our leadership team, and our council and committee interest forms. If you wanna be involved, if you wanna be more active on the national level, please check this out, the council and committee interest. So I'm gonna go back to the homepage and I'm gonna show you where the on-demand education is now housed. It used to be found here in the education, but that's been moved. So one of the new features that we added to the web site is our hubs. So as you can see, if you scroll down, there's hubs listed here, assisted living, independent living, skilled nursing, memory care, adult day, the Ask Nap series, our five minute flares, our micro trainings, and our nap perks. So I'm gonna walk you through some of these. You do have to be signed in to access the hubs. So if we click on assisted living, It's going to talk to me a little bit here about this hub and then to access its resources. So I'm going to click on that. When I open this up, there's going to be an on-demand area, a resource, and a certification. So as you can see in the on-demand, these are the webinars that you can take at any time. Uh, you simply find one that you want and you click on it. You can see the course description, the learning objectives, the speaker and credentials, you select next and you start to go through the course. At the end of the course, there's a certificate, uh, I'm sorry, not a certificate, there is a quiz and then a certificate once you successfully complete that. But this is where you would find all of those courses. We also have a resource area and this is an area that isn't well known yet and it really should be. We have fantastic uh, um, lesson plans geared specifically for each hub. So this one is for assisted living and then ready to use group and independent programs. So if I click here on one of these lesson plans, it's going to build out exactly what you need for this program. The supplies, the steps, everything is ready for you. It's ready to go. You can print and get your things and, and present it. Same thing with when we go over to the ready to use group and independence. So we have this uh, winter roundups. They're gonna, the roundups are gonna be done every season and it's things you can print out and provide for your uh, residents to use, to share as a group and do different types of things. There's also gonna be different activity ideas, recipes, um, some word games. So these are found in all of these tabs. So if I go to skilled nursing, I'm gonna find a little bit more here um, just because of the, the difference in these two settings. So we still have the resource and these are geared towards skilled nursing. We have some regulation information, the federal regulations, certification, and then forms that are useful in a skilled setting. So all of the hubs have their own um, dashboard here with different options, and it's something you definitely want to check out. The Ask Nap, this is a series, again, as I said, um, when people have questions, they pose it here and we give some answers. We also provide how to access the helpline. 
So if you have questions, this is where you email Zalisa at nap.info. The five minute flares are really fantastic. I like to call this like um, micro trainings. They're five minutes. It's something you can pull your team in and, and all sit around a computer and have this kind of micro training, micro refresher on these topics. So you simply just click on it. It's gonna open up a video for you and it's five minutes of your time. The NAP Perks is something that is new and exciting. And these are partners and, and folks that we work with that are providing some benefits for NAP membership members. So Ways to Wellness is part of the PERK program. Engage Senior is part of our PERK program. Activity Connection is part of our PERK program, as well as Salt and Prep, who is our newest PERK program. So these are great things, and they all have some samples and things you can pull. Some have some discounts. So it's a great way, again, just like up above in our partner area, it's a great way to see some of those that we work with closely and see what they have to offer that can help you in your setting. So that is the hubs. I'm gonna go back to the home page, and I'm gonna scroll down a little bit more. So when you go past the hubs, we also have the state resources. These are listed here. You can click on any of the states. It's gonna provide you with some regulation information, if they have associations, if they have conferences. So definitely check your state out and see if all that information is there and make sure it's correct. If we've missed something, we'd love to add it. As we scroll further, you have all the blog updates. This is a place you can go for anything that's recent that's been added to the website, um, or maybe it's gone out on an e-blast, uh, but this is where you're going to find it in the blog updates. And then if you continue to scroll down, we just we do have the bar down here with some options. You also have a login option here. You can sign up for the newsletter here. You can go straight to partners here, how to contact us. Um, if you want to donate to NAP to any of the scholarships or sponsor conferences, these are areas where you can check out and get some information. So that is the NAP website in a nutshell. I hope this was helpful for you. And if not, you can always reach out to any of us at NAP and we'd be happy to help you uh, navigate it and get to where you need to go and get the services that you need. Thank you.